Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Codexual, and we're going to be talking about how to browse the web anonymously. So we're going to be talking about the PIA, which is Private Internet Access. It's a paid VPN, really cheap, six bucks a month, or if you choose like a bigger bulk, like a year, it'll be 40 bucks every year. But um, it's really cheap, and I strongly recommend it. But if you don't want to spend any money, that's completely fine. We're going to be talking about uh, Tor Browser and the Cloudflare DNS, because those as well, Office Security. So if we bring over the PIA, Private Internet Access, it's um, really cheap and it's trusted by all these companies. I'll leave an affiliates link down below and if you could use that and if you actually were to pay for this, um, it would actually help out my channel a whole lot. So it protects your privacy identity, browse anonymously, uh, hidden IP, and enables Wi-Fi security. Now this is highlighted for a reason because with uh, Wi-Fi security, um, if you're someone of whom travels a lot and connects to public Wi-Fi is like airports, Starbucks, McDonald's, hotel, motels, etc. Um, you're sitting in a public Wi-Fi waiting to be sniffed out. And by sniffing out is if there's any unsecured, uh, uh, they'll be looking for unsecured, uh, connections or they'll make it unsecured for you forcing you to go to unsecured uh like uh instead of like https it'll be http and um they'll run attacks on you and they'll start sniffing out you know your bank information if you log into your bank and everything like that so this is something that i strongly recommend is if you're going to connect to a public wi-fi don't but if you are get a vpn so um yeah, and it unblocks censorship, so if it'll unblock everything as there was like no parental controls or if you live in China, for example, and there's the Great Firewall of China um, and so on and so forth. So um, really cheap, really, really cheap. Seven bucks a month and um, I'll leave the affiliates link down below. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the actual program and uh, with any type of VPN, uh, they'll give you like what location you can choose from. Um, right now I'm currently connected towards the Hong Kong. So, um, just, just for no reason, just for the point of this video. Um, next thing for the free stuff is what we would like for you to do is to change your DNS to 1.1.1.1 and, uh, your, so if we go towards our settings here and we go towards the change adapter settings and double click here oops properties then go to your ipv4 it shows you that i i've i've had this on I, every device that i have connected on the network has this dns so i i'd strongly recommend it because um, nearly everything on the internet starts with a DNS request. DNS is the internet's directly. So click uh, click on the link, open an app, send an e email. First thing your device does is ask for a directory. Now, unfortunately, by default of your DNS, if you don't, if you didn't change it, um, it's usually slow and insecure. Your ISP, your internet service provider, and anyone else listening on the internet can see every site you visit and every app you use, uh, even if their content is encrypted creepily some dns providers sell out data about your internet activity or use to use it to target you with ads and other malicious ways so if um it has a it gives you a comparison here's like your average if you got comcast um for example this is your um ping rate or milliseconds or your latency there's like three words that I know of. And with uh, Cloudflare, it shortens that. Like, it really shortens that. And I, I can't tell you how how fast it is and how secure it is. And it gives you instructions on how to do it on any of these platforms. So um, it's very simple to do. And as for the Tor Browser, so this is something that Tor Browser is basically, it connects to, from another computer to another computer to another computer and reaches its final destination. And you can actually download that. Um, it's completely for free, such as changing your DNS, because that's free. But, um, you know, PIA costs money. So go ahead and download that. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to do like a DNS 
leak test because right now we're connected on Hong Kong and if I were to do like an extended test it's going to I want to see if there's any leakage so by what that means is is it going to show with with the VPN is the VPN going to protect me from actually showing the Cloudflare DNS and is Cloudflare DNS going to show my actual DNS so it's going through that while it goes through that we'll come back to it later and uh, we already have tor browser um installed and yes tor browser can be used to access the deep web i'm not focused on that i'm focused on um you can actually use tor browser to go towards like uh like a facebook.com you know for complete anonymity um it'll be a little bit slow but um so I'm like connected from Hong Kong and now from Hong Kong, it's connected to someone else's computer while it jumps through those loops. Now it's not like connecting towards someone's computer in a malicious way. It's like a, like you're connected towards a web, right? You're connected towards a, a big web of people that are connected towards each other and they use each other's connection securely to hop through everything and uh, to get to its final destination, which is Facebook. Or if you want to, uh, go on Twitter. So this is something that um, is to be completely anonymous and I would strongly recommend going on a VPN, changing your DNS, then using Tor browser if you want to be completely anonymous. Completely anonymous. Um, I wouldn't recommend it doing on a Windows machine, but um, we have no other choice because that's where I play video games on. But that's personally me. You can be on, um, on a different operating system uh, such as... Uh, um, some type of Linux, and um, I'll get that into a later video, but I'm just going to show you the basics and to uh, be completely anonymous. So none of my information got leaked out. I'm in within the states. So if we went ahead and um, went towards like a different um, country, like I could be in the states if I wanted to. It'll be a lower, um, it'll be a faster uh, ping rate. Um, so let's... Go to Washington, D.C. Why not? And it'll take a little bit to connect. And okay, now that we're in Washington, D.C. So Ashburn, United States. Um, go ahead and do a standard test. And maybe things will be a little bit faster since we're within the states. Maybe. Usually with Tor browser, it's a little bit slower. Okay, so it's a little bit faster than the when we were connected to Hong Kong. So yeah, it doesn't even show my ISP because I'm connected towards you know a VPN. Um, but this, however, if I were to go towards like a DNS leak uh, test com, like I'll be in a different country or somewhere else in the states. Yeah, I mean, because I'm connected towards Washington, D.C., then from Washington, D.C., I'm in now in Germany because this is an extra added layer of security. So you can do a, a standard test. And um, it'll, uh, it'll pop up with some German servers or it'll pop up with something else because it, the IP is constantly changing with your Tor browser. And that's what I like about Tor Browser. I, I can't strongly recommend Tor Browser enough to be completely anonymous. So yeah, it's it's jumping us all around. So from Germany, then the United States, then Canada, then France. Yeah, it's making us jump all over the place. So yeah, I hope that this video was um, informative to give you a decision to be uh, you know a bit more anonymous. Um, and you know, Never give out your information over the internet, first, last name, age, what gender you are, <laughs> even though they can obviously hear it from my voice. I'm a male. But, um, yeah, you get the idea. Delete Facebook. It's a trap. Delete it. Don't don't even get on it. It's nothing but a trap. Make a new Facebook under the while you were using Tor uh, browser, if you're going to be using Facebook. So, um, yeah, I hope that this... Uh, this video was helpful if it is definitely drop a thumbs up share this with all your friends subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys i'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care so
Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.